Hi, we're going to learn how to do one point perspective today. So art one and two, you guys are going to, uh, for your sketchbook assignment, you're going to do one point perspective this week. And what you need for that is pencil, eraser, first and foremost, most likely a sharpener, and then you need some sort of straight edge. Now this obviously isn't a ruler. Um, I have my ruler. I have, have to improvise on this thick piece of paper um, that I folded in half so that I could have a really nice, sturdy, straight edge. Uh, so if you don't have a ruler at home, you're good to go with just any piece of paper, um, maybe a piece of mail, um, a folder, whatever that has a straight edge that you can use to uh, draw your one point perspective. Alright, so on my piece of paper, I'm going to show you a few different things that you can do for your one point perspective uh, sketchbook assignment. The first thing you need is a horizon line. It goes all the way across. It can be all the way at the top, in the middle, or all the way at the bottom. Um, the horizon line, think of it as where the sky and the earth meet. If the sky and the earth meet in the middle, you're going to have some sky and you're going to have some land. If it's all the way at the top, you're going to have a teeny tiny little bit of a sky and mostly land to work with. If your horizon line is all the way at the bottom, everything you're drawing is up in the air. You have the sky to look at. So that's what you need to figure out first, where your horizon line is going to be. I am going to do mine sort of down here. I'm going to play the rule of thirds. So please draw lightly. I'm drawing pretty hard because I need you to see what I'm drawing in the camera. Um, but draw lightly. Please. Please, please, please draw lightly. Okay, if you draw lightly first, then darken later when you know it's perfect, okay? If you go too dark, it will be impossible to erase. Okay, so horizon line. Step two, you've got to have a vanishing point. Essential, essential, essential. Vanishing point can literally be anywhere along your horizon line. It doesn't matter where. I'm going to choose mine to be over here. Okay, so everything, everything goes back, back, it's absolutely okay. Anyways, let's keep going. So for your two point, for your, sorry, for your one point perspective, you're going to first draw the side of whatever you're creating. So this is the sky. This is the earth. I want my item, I want my building to be grounded. Um, it could be anything. Your name, a building a fence, a floating box, whatever you want. So I'm going to have mine over here. Draw the whole box. Okay. And erase. We're drawing solid items, solid structures. So everything that is inside of it has to be erased. All right, this is where your straight edge comes into play. All these corners go to the vanishing point, but these two corners over here are literally going through the box to get to the vanishing point. So you might as well not draw those because you're going to have to erase the whole thing anyways. So the box, the edges of the box, the top and the bottom will go like that. And then we're going to go from the base back to the vanishing point, like that. Okay. And then I'm going to erase the rest of my horizon line just through here, because I know that I want my box to go back a little bit. Not forever. We're going to cut it off, but I want it to, to go back a little. Okay, so the next step. When you cut off the back of your building, your box, your creation, whatever, your letter, you have to mimic this front line exactly how it is further back between the top and the bottom line that you've already created. 
So, front line, drag it all the way back for as long as you want, and then do the same angle. In this, in this case, it's just a straight up and down one. Um, but a lot of times they're not always straight up and down. So erase, 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 erase everything. Extra. All right, all the extra stuff is erased. So you now have a big box in perspective. It's not flat, it's 3D, okay? But it also goes back into space. So it's even more so detailed than just a 3D box. It goes back into space in perfect perspective. Um, the further away it is, the smaller it gets. If I were to make a another um, building on maybe the same street, street as this guy, I would definitely want to stick with this inside portion. Okay, drawing my box. Okay. And then this guy... This little corner goes back, okay, and this gets repeated back here, okay, and erase the horizon line, and all the extra orthogonal lines. There's an art term for your extra credit. What is an orthogonal? Orthogonals are all the lines that go to the vanishing point. All these guys and most of them get erased all right so this box is much closer to us than this one further away closer to us okay it's bigger it's closer to us smaller further away we can add details anything up in here all, um, all horizontal lines. Go to the vanishing point. They're always going to be diagonal in some form, unless they're exactly on the horizon line. All of the vertical lines stay vertical always okay horizontal lines go to the vanishing point always okay um, that's how we get our door frames okay so if we wanted to create a door here the, the, the very basic areas of the door the vertical lines, the side parts of the door, stay there. This obviously stays like that. If this is how tall you want your door, you have to take that point going back. Okay? Small di distinguishing, you know, steps, but it makes it more realistic. Okay? So, the, anything on this side, like if we have windows over here, if we have a whole like thing of windows, it's facing us. So it's exactly straight up and down and horizontal. But this wall over here goes back into space. So everything has to follow that horizon line, that vanishing point. Everything. Okay? There's your 101 to drawing in perspective. Um, I want you to try letters as well as buildings. Um, maybe a fence, um, maybe other stuff. Just no trees. Um, trees just are standalone. You know, you can draw them 3D, you know, with shading. There's got to be structures. Um, maybe a train going back, um, buildings going back, a house, a cityscape with a road, you know, coming out, getting bigger.
Have fun.